Hello and welcome to this Gibscam Tech Tip on Transforming Toolpath. We're uh, looking at a rotary encapsulated die here that we need to do some repetitive toolpath on and uh, then rotate it around this part to uh, complete the operations we need to perform. So looking at this we have a simple drill routine running down this row of four and back up this row of three. And uh, we also have a roughing pocketing routine that's doing the same thing. Down the row of four and back up this row of three. And there's actually 13 instances around the, around the part. So let's take a look and see what this looks like in cut part rendering. We've got our hard UMC 750 set up here. And we'll go ahead and do a render start. And we can see that it drills the seven holes right in the manner we want and now we're pocketing down a row back a row just what we need okay well let's get this populated around the whole part then uh, first off we'll do the drill routine we're just going to come in here under the rotate tab tell it we want 13 instances of that at this uh, angular displacement and give it the redo button and it updates that process and operation over there on the right. And we'll do the same thing for the pocketing routine. At 13 more instances at the same angular displacement. Say redo it. And the rendering updates. And let's rerun the rendering. The play button here. And bit of bang. It knocked out all the drill routines. Let's take a quick look at what we got here. If we open show position we can move the z-axis head up out of the way and, uh, and rotate the c-axis around to see what we have. And yes, we covered all the all the start holes we were supposed to on the on the die. Let's go ahead now and run the pocket routine. Well that is not quite what we were hoping for. What it's done is taken the operations over on the right hand side and done exactly what we asked it to and repeated it 13 times at that angular displacement around the around the part. Uh, that's not quite the tool path we were hoping for. So let's undo that. Let's set this back to zero and do a redo of that. It updated the rendering, and before we start the rendering, what we want to do is transform the toolpath. Tip of the day. We have these operations all highlighted, and we're going to transform that toolpath under Plugins, Toolpath, Transform Toolpath. When it transforms, Op Dialog comes up. We have the ability to translate either an HVD or in a rotary fashion, which we're going to do today around an HV center at our angular displacement we wanted. From the XY plane, we're going to transform in this CS 13 times. We'll do the do it button. And sure enough, we had our additional transformed operations over here on the right. And let's run a render and see what we have. Here we go with our pocketing, and there we go. Down the row of four, back the row of three. Second instance, down the row of four, back the row of three. So there you have a transform toolpath, one of those easy, quick tools in Gibbscam. For more tips and tricks like this, reach out to your local Gibbscam reseller. They'll be glad to give you a hand in increasing your production with Gibbscam software. Have a great day.